What up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, the, hi, YouTube. This is Cognitive Thought here. I hope you're all having a great week. How are you all today? Um, I don't know if anyone's in the chat right now. I know Irate Bear is uh, doing his um, stream right now. And I just wanted to do a quick short stream, basically, to... Um, yeah, to basically show off Spinosaurus Kin under his new alias, uh, Alternative Facts. Um, wait, well, basically continuing his fucking form of hypocrisy. And I can't fucking stand Spino now. Uh, Carrot, hello. Hello there from the chat. Lovely, lovely kisses and stuff. Thank you very much, Carrot. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, it's just one of those. Knuckles, hello. Um, yeah, so I've been on Twitter today, like... Obviously, Spinosaurus Kin, after the video that I did on him, obviously blocked me on Twitter. Um... It's just, you know, that's how Spino deals with it. He's basically gone full-blown SJW. And his way of dealing with things is just, yeah, I'll block you, and then I'll continue on like I've never done anything wrong. And that's why I cannot stand fucking Spino. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to... Basically, I I've retweeted this out on Twitter already, but I'm going to fucking show this off, because he's a fucking hypocrite, and I fucking can't stand the cunt. I was going to do this into a short video, but I, I don't mind doing just a short stream as well. Um, it's just fucking, it's just fucking annoying. But anyway, let me share my screen with you. I'm going to try and pop everything down to the side. I'm going to try and get myself a, um, get, let me just get the pop out chat over here as well. So I can pop you guys out. Hello, all you lovely people turning up in the chat. Two moments and I will recognize you. Alrighty. So we've got up, on, up, up, in, up in the pop out chat, up in the pop out chat, up in the pop out chat. There we go. So, who have we got here? Look at all you beautiful people. We've got The Void Podcast. Yes, he is a total cunt. Warped Reflection. We have Fussy Notions. We have Renee's Nisbet. We have Doku. Hello, and thank you for joining us, dude. Taylor Ramirez. We've got Adrian Bloom. Warped Reflection. Jay Willie. Dis oh, you, you fucking beautiful people. You're all here. Discana. Sorry, my, I nearly fucked that up. Well, I did fuck that up. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to take a look at this. So if you've not seen this already on Twitter, because you probably, you might not have done, you may not follow me on Twitter. You may follow me on Twitter, though, as well. Who knows? You will see me tweet this out because, my God, Spino is a fucking spaz. Um, so, Spino, let's have a look at you. This is Spino's tweet out there. Miss tweet deleted strikes again. This is coming from Spino. I've already told him he's a fucking hypocrite, but this is coming from Spino. I don't care what the fucking tweet says from Blair. It's the fact that Spino thinks that he can fucking retweet this with a uh, mistweet deleted coming from Spino. And then I've obviously posted right on top of this. Oh, yeah, because here's the video I did of you deleting your fucking tweets, you fucking hypocrite. I can't stand Spino. Really, I can't. Now, I understand that the guy calls himself alternative facts now, which is essentially what? Lies? Cool. Is that it? Is that, that, that's 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 it now. Like like here's his fucking channel. Look, L I E S lies, alternative facts. Yet yeah, he's doing a responding to rage. Uh, like because I've seen this as well from a few people on YouTube who responded to rage after the storm on a race realism video. I was thinking of doing it myself, but I've seen so many people cover it. I don't see the point. Now, when it comes down to Spino's, like, is this lies? Then is this lies? Wh which ones are your alternative facts, Spino? You, have you just changed your name to that so you can always get yourself out of lying and being a hypocrite? God, uh, yeah. <laughs> Carrot loves alt alternative facts. Alt right alternative facts. <laughs> alt right alternative. That's that's what he should be called. How are you, space bitch? Welcome for joining us in the chat. Static citizen. Oh fucking Spino. Yes, exactly. This guy is a fucking hypocrite. And uh, yeah, I know it's uh, it, it's literally. I I li oh ho ho ha ha. You're doing a live stream about you. Are you amazing? Yes, I am Spino. You fucking hypocrite. Yes, I'm doing a fucking live stream on you because because it's funny, dude. It really is. The fact that you think that you can just say, like, miss tweet deleted strikes again, like you don't delete your tweets. Like, like you don't delete your tweets. Like, you fucking purge your tweets. And, th and yet you think that you can just tweet someone and, oh, as long as they do it, they're in the wrong, but I can do it. Totally not hypocritical. Fuck off, Spino. Oh, God. Same here. <laughs> It's just satire, bro. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Fucking hell, will it? Ah, God. Don't go. Cheers, chat. Yes, I've had a good night's sleep, guys. I have. I say a good night's sleep. I've had a good day sleep. Uh, fucking seriously, my, my fucking body clock is absolutely fucked. But, oh, well. <laughs> hey, wino. Yeah, you might as well call him that. He fucking whines all the time. S seriously, Dave, like... Yeah, like the fact that you should realize your own hypocrisy in here. 
it's so fucking obvious that you have your own hypocrisy here, yet you just completely just ignore it. Ignore it, never happened. Spino, Spino isn't a hypocrite, but he'll point out you if you're a hypocrite. Fucking retard, my dude. You're a fucking re You know what? Because we can increase the length of this stream for fun, and for anyone who's not seen it, even though it's pretty much one of my popular videos now, we're going to watch Spinosaurus Kin's Hypocrisy. Yeah, that's right, on my fucking channel. I don't fucking care. Because uh, it needs to be seen. Now, I'm just going to make sure now, guys, that my, uh, my sound is sorted out correctly. Give me two seconds. Let me just make sure my sound is working, and it's... Nope. Give me one moment. Alrighty, so you should be able to hear the sound coming through now when I play this. And yeah, if you've not seen this, let's have a look at Spinosaurus Kin's hypocrisy when he originally did this. This is Spinosaurus Kin deleting his tweets. Shall we watch? Shall we watch? Yes, yes, we shall watch. Hi, YouTube. This is Cognitive Thought here. And I Hi, Spino. This is Cognitive Thought here. And I can't wait to show you how much of a hypocrite you are. I love seeing him in the trap. Such a drama whore. I love this. Says Spino. Says fucking spino i'm showing your hypocrisy dude and i've only ever, ever done videos or streams on you when i'm showing your fucking hypocrisy do, do you know I, i'm glad that you love this though it's awesome dude i'm not usually the type to get caught up in youtube drama but i just can't stand hypocrisy yep so if you don't know what's going on let me get you up to speed Spinosaurus Kin got unfollowed by Saga of a Card on Twitter after. S oh, so Comrade Cthulhu has just joined to find out. Hey, dude, what Spino done this time? Oh, he's just you know tweeting uh, people out saying, "Oh my God, look, she missed tweet deleted strikes again." Like the fact that you can brand someone as missed tweet deleted, the fact that he can brand someone when, as this video is about to demonstrate, or as you, you may have seen on my channel before, the cunt deletes his own shit all the time, let alone purges his fucking tweets. Purges. Seriously. Fuck me, man. Uh, Tyler Swaney, $5 donated. Keep up the good work. Glad you to, uh, glad, glad to finally catch you live. Hey, it's good to see you, Tyler. Thanks for joining us, dude. I really appreciate it. I uh, tried to make my live streams, well, on American time. So if you aren't on, in America, it probably might be a bit harder for you. Uh, I go based off, obviously, the majority of my audience, which are obviously American. That's It's just the way that it works. But uh, I can do some of the day. Depends how fucked my body clock is that week. Anyway, let's continue with this. Sargon found out Spino had made a parody account of him called Hardon of Assad. Sir Dominus. Hey, look, dude, look, look, dude. Remember when I told you that Spino was a hypocrite? Look, he's being a hypocrite even more. Sir look. Fucking mistweet deleted strikes because he's never deleted tweets, has he, Sir Never deleted tweets, Spino. So the other day. I Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm pointing out Sir there because uh, Sir Dominus uh, was the person who essentially uh, helped me to have the conversation with Spino after I pointed out his hypocrisy ori originally. Because Sir was like, oh, no, no, no. I think you get confused between his intentions of his, his parody accounts in comparison to the fucking. No. He, if he, he, this, this is his hypocrisy. He, he has issue with parody accounts, and he does. I was reliably informed that. Yes, I'm so angry. Your, your shit post? Yeah, you call them shit posts whenever you want, Spino. That's the fucking point about you. In fact, why have you even got a wrench? I, I think you had a wrench because at one point we were probably friends. Like, I I'm going to remove you because you don't deserve a wrench. And in fact, I'm going to give that wrench to Minty Fox because Minty Fox does deserve a wrench. Minty Fox, you are now a moderator. In fact, Space Bitch, you actually also deserve moderation too because you've actually been coming for a long time. And I'd actually say Gallius Ju Julius Caesar, you've been a fan as well for a long time. There you go, guys. Three wrenches out there. Enjoy. Um, yes, I'm so angry at your shit posts. So, so are you saying that, Spino? Let, let me get this right. So you're, you, the, the fact that you change your channel now, your, your whole name to Alternative Facts, a.k.a. No, 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 no. Again, Spino, ha, 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 the salt. Dude, I've got more subs than you. How, where's the salt coming from? How am I jealous? Do you know what salty means? God, you're an idiot. So, again, Alternative Facts. Is this so you can say that you're lying? So all your tweets are lies now? So anyone who follows you is just actually waiting to read bullshit, and it's never going to be true. Is that what you're saying, Spino? It's hilarious. So let's continue, guys. But David Sharak, otherwise known as Spinosaurus Kin, runs a parody account of me, which is why I chose to unfollow him. People are aware that I run hard on for a sad. So I'm not really interested in people who will speak to your face and then speak again behind your back. Now, the worst thing about this video was watching Spinosaurus Kin defend his actions with the same sort of rationalizing that you hear on an episode of Catfish coming from the person with the fake account. Um, I realized one thing about the account was that people 
didn't know I was Spino. No shit! Holy fuck! They didn't know it was you? Oh my god! Oh my, do you know, do you know who I am in real life? My actual real name, address and everything? People don't know that! Oh my god! But behind a fucking, an avatar and a fucking pseudonym, I can still be a real person, Spino. Fuck me, and without the avatar. With the pseudonym, though, and even though you take it away with Dave Sherratt, you, you, even as a real person, you're not even fucking real. You're just a fucking autistic spaz, Jesus. And this was interesting. Because now people weren't bringing my personal life and all of the personal attacks into stuff. Well, no. oh, oh, look, guys. Look, I'm not getting... No one's, no one's being nasty to me, so I'm going to continue. Like, you're a fucking pussy, dude. Jesus Christ. Why did you even fucking be on... Like, do you know what I'm doing now? This is, again, more criticism on you. Oh, but if you were on Heart of Hassado, I, I wouldn't get the criticisms... Like, I like the criticisms, dude. That's the fucking point. Um, I like to criticize, and I like people to criticize me. And unfortunately, dude, you aren't like that. You want to criticize and not be criticized. You're a fucking spaz. No shit, no one knew a random parody Twitter account was you. Still, you say you enjoyed it because you didn't get any personal attacks. And that still sounds to me like a catfish saying, I made the profile because people were calling me names on my profile, but people were nice to the fake profile. Basically what Spino said. <laughs> That's your reasoning. Recognize it. Now this video by Spino is just under 22 minutes long, and I don't really care enough to respond to his response to Sargon. Instead, I'm just here to make a very clear point. Spinosaurus Kin sees no issue with having a parody account of Sargon, but when it comes to Spino's views on people with parody accounts, he says things like this. I'm sure the faggot hiding behind a parody account is top-notch genetic material. That tweet now, if you go looking for it, is deleted. Yeah, doesn't exist, guys. Guess why? Seriously, dude, these are your own words. You got me. Now, Spino, if you are watching, this is a short video, so it should be easy for you to respond to. Still hasn't responded to it. But realize you look like a hypocrite right now. Still hasn't responded to it. <laughs> and I'm struggling to see any integrity from you at all. Literally no integrity from Spino, that's why. Because this retard will tell... Oh, Miss Tweet deleted... This is just pure hypocrisy. It's so funny. Like, Spino, you literally, like... I don't pay attention to you. This is the funny thing, is I actually don't pay attention to Spino. This just popped up in my feed, and I was like, really? From Spino? Like, I, I've, I've not got any, like, notifications on this guy. Like, if I go to his channel, there's no... There's no notifications for things. When I made my new account, he popped up, and I thought, well, he actually um, he actually blocked me last time. Like, there's no turn on. My, like, I'd have to turn them on. I don't get notifications for this. It just pops up in my feed. You being a fucking hypocrite, dude. So yeah, but apparently, guys, this is me being salty. I don't know how the guy has less followers than me. And salty, as far as I remember, means being jealous. Uh, yeah, I'm not jealous of you being a hypocrite, dude. Just pointing out you're a fucking hypocrite. Because you are. And this is how simple this was. It was as simple as just going, dude, you have a stupid fucking tweet having a go at somebody for the fact that, you know, that they've deleted a tweet. It's just, I know it's so basic, but it's as simple as if you're going to sit there and go, Haha, look at this, and actually like show them off as a person known for deleting their tweets, then you must be okay with my video right now showing you, you spineless cunt for basically being a hypocrite, for basically being a person who deletes tweets. Shall we brand you as Mr. Delete Tweets now? Like, it's just silly. It really is. Sturcore, get some sleep, buddy. I don't know if you're talking to me, dude. I'm awake. I have uh, fucked up sleeping pattern. I, uh, I've been awake for about an hour, actually. Um, I'll be up until probably 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I, I work on American time, really, now. Um, or at least Central time. It's just, it's weird. It's how my body's come to it, so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's not really the fact that I'm lacking sleep. It's the fact that I'm paying attention to a person's hypocrisy without even fucking trying. Without trying. Like, he came up in my who to follow recommended list when obviously I'd started off my chat, this, uh, my new uh, Twitter account, and I was just clicking like follow, follow, follow when I saw someone hate face who popped up who I knew. Even if I don't like him, I'm following Sean and Jen, I'm following fucking Michael Rollins. I follow these. Yes, that guy T, Spino, is sad. Um, you know what? Let, let's for that guy T. We shall get this back up for you. I should be able to find this. People have been liking it since I since I said this. So because <laughs> um, let's just find this. Is it this one? Yes. So yeah, um, 
Zach Guy T, thanks for joining us in the chat, dude. Uh, missed tweet, deleted strikes again. This is how. This is just me quickly showing the hypocrisy again of uh, of David Sherratt. Um Spinosaurus Kin having a go at someone because the, and branding them as a tweet deleter, right? Missed tweet, deleted. Literally like the, the demonization of <laughs> look at you, you delete your tweets. You delete your tweets, David. Fucking hell! Like you have to be. A retard. Like I would never put, po I would never ever post someone's thing up and go, Haha, look at Mr. Deletes his tweets. What the fuck? Like I've deleted tweets before, but then again, usually when I delete tweets, it's not. I don't go through purging my history of tweets. I basically delete it if I write it and I make a spelling mistake, and I'm like, oh fuck. And if I notice it, then I delete it and I start again. Good point, actually. Why hasn't that guy T got a got a wrench? That guy T, you have now got wrench, my dude. Wrench. Ah. Uh... But yeah, like I say, God, this is retardedness. But uh, alternative facts, are you still in the chat? Dude, I'd love for you. You know what? Here you go, dude. Here's the Hangout link for you. If you want to click this, Spino, you can, you can join me for a conversation, dude. You can join me. In fact, anyone can join me. There you go. There's the Hangout link. Why not? Why don't you come on and defend yourself, dude? Why don't you tell me why, I, why you're not a hypocrite and then explain to me why I'm salty? I'd love to hear this, dude. I'd love to hear your definition of salty. I'd love to hear your definition of hypocrite. And I'd love to hear why you're not being hypocritical here. But I don't think you can do that. It's just fucking funny. funny. In fact, I'll make sure that this doesn't disappear. There you go. Hello, Jay Willie. Thank you for joining us. I wanted you to be Spino then. Come on. Like... I really need <laughs> Spino on my channel, but then again, this is why I find hilarious about Spino. He never responded to my initial video, and I never really went over this, but he never responded to my video on him, because Spino said he hasn't got the time. But he'll turn up to the live stream and sit in the side chat. Yes, yeah, Spino? Fucking hell. Hasn't got the time, guys. Hasn't got the time for me. I know. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would actually I would actually say that... Just, um, um, I would like him to come on because I like both you and Spiner. So if you, I will kind of like uh, get it from get uh, from. You wouldn't get hostile to one another if I was on. Oh no 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 no! I, I just tell you to shut up. Like <laughs> it wouldn't be hostile. It wouldn't be hostile. To be fair, I'd just be saying to him like, uh, "So do you not see this as a hip hypocritical?" And see how he stands because he may go, "Yeah, I've been a hypocrite again." But then he also doesn't see the original video I did of him as him being a hypocrite. So. Pfft. You know, it's just stupid. It really is. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, actually, I was going to stop sharing them, but no, no, actually, I'll share it. I'll keep the chat on the screen. We can still look at this. We can still look at this hypocrisy for quite a while. It's quite funny. Um, but I love that Spino's in the chat. Spino, you are in the chat, dude. I've sent you a Hangout link. Do you not want to join? Do you not want to join me? Do you not want to talk about this? Okay. You know, time, dude. Yeah, I could understand if he, if he wouldn't like to do it. You can understand if he didn't want to do this. So can I. I mean, I've literally shown the guy to be a hypocrite. All he can turn up and do is go, yeah, okay, you've, you've shown me being a hypocrite. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know the, do you know the original reason why Spino told me that he deleted that tweet where he said that uh, parody accounts are top-notch genetic material? Do you know why he told me he deleted that? Because apparently I'd shown that tweet out of context. That's why he deleted it. I mean, that has to be the most retarded reasoning I have ever fucking heard. Hey, you took that out of context, so I've deleted it so no one will ever see it in the context. That makes sense. Sort of. That makes a lot of sense. No, I'm not going to demonstrate it with a small video going, look, look, Cog, let me show you this in context so you see why I said this. No. None of that. Not even a response from him. Literally fucking tucked his tail and ran away. Spino is afraid. Yes, oh, sorry, someone's actually just said, Cognitive Thought Spino is afraid you'd hurt his free wings. Yeah, his free wings would get hurt, definitely. He, I, I'd, you know, I, I, that's, that's the problem here. I may hurt his feelings. That's what that, apparently that's what the genetic, top-notch genetic material parody account was doing. Um, because he was like, oh no, they were racist and stuff. And it's like, but you told me when we were discussing this in DMs that you got ridiculed. In fact, Sturcore can actually con uh, uh, confirm that because I still have a message of him telling me it. And it's the only reason why Sturcore is okay with me, but kind of not, is because he's like, why did you show my private DMs? Because Spino fucked off, and you were the only one saying to me that he's basically said, this is why he decided to post that, because the account was hurting his feelings. They were, well, not hurting his feelings, sorry. They were being derogatory towards him. They were, they were basically calling him names. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking silly. Um, yeah, this, I mean, like, 
a longer stream over one tweet. Uh, yeah, why not? I can I can do long long streams all day. This is more of a one tweet plus Spino can just being a hypocrite overall. Plus he still hasn't responded. Oh, and plus he's actually in the chat as well. So you know, I'm glad he's seeing this. It's hilarious. He may even do a video going, "Oh my God, Cog did like an hour long live stream on my tweet." I can do an hour long live stream talking about anything. Fuck, man. I mean, like, some. So something I, I believe is a little uh, annoying here is that I really liked his um, old videos that are now unlisted. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, he can't actually... Because, again, Spino deletes his shit. He'll unlist them all stuff. I don't know whether they're unlisted or deleted, but let's say that they're unlisted. They are, they are unlisted. Okay, so he's got so unlisted he, he, videos that he doesn't really want people to see, and he'll keep them there. It's almost like he's trying to hide the person that he was. It's almost like he came to the internet and then grew as a person into a retard. Uh, Sammy Khan, two dollars. Spino is a virgin, possibly. I mean, I mean, he raised money for some pussy that's still not got to the UK yet. So, uh, yeah, probably because uh, that pussy that people raised money for, so that you could get her over from the, you know, from from Middle East to here. Now, that, that I don't think that ever happened. And in fact, I think his mum didn't want him to send the money to her. But you know, that's all hearsay. I'm literally going off hearsay. This is why I don't usually do videos on talking about Spino because I just hear a lot of hearsay about him. But being a virgin. Uh -huh. I would be, I'd believe I mean, that, like, fair enough. He, he did a, a really, really good video about uh, Teal there, and a good video about Dr. Random McCann. Um, I don't know, no, no, his video uh, on Dr. Random McCann was fucking shite. I, I really... It, it really was. I, I actually kind of liked it. I didn't. I No, I, I didn't. I saw Random McCann's first, and Random McCann's, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Then I watched Spino's, because I was like, okay, I'll see your points on this. It's not, it's just shitty Spino points all the fucking time. Um... Don't you understand? And that's all he does. And it's just like, you don't understand you're a hypocrite. How can anyone understand you, you fucking idiot? One minute you'll say something's bad about someone's argument, and the next minute you're saying it's something that's good about someone else's argument. You're a fucking idiot. Like, uh, depending on the person. Do you know what I mean? And he really does. Like, right right now, he'd be like, uh, you know, if, if we were talking about, let's say, uh, um, Robin Gething as an example, or, uh, do, do you know what I mean? It'd, it'd be like, I could sit there and explain why Robin well, Gething... I talked to Robin Gething before. I talked to him. I was on the open house. Yeah, no, I've been on the open house as well. Robin Gethin is just a fucking idiot. The moment I passed him in sub count, he just started being a salty dick to me. That's the best way of putting it. Literally having a go at me on Twitter because, oh, you only do what you do on, on YouTube because of your sub count and you're adhering to your fans. That's all you do it for is to adhere to your fans. No, I know there are things that appeal to my fans to an extent, like, you know, my content going up at the right time of day and I'll appeal in that sort of way because that's that's working with my fans. But when it comes to just going, oh, my fans think this, so, so I'll say Say this no i've had fucking massive debates with my fans especially when i did that stream on uh tampons being tax exempt you think i gain subscribers from that no fucking i do vi t uh, videos on tilde myself you think i gain subscribers from that no like do you think i gained a lot of down likes yes veganism they've got an army of vegans do you think i've gained down likes on that last debate that we did uh, from the two days ago yes of course it's fucking stupid uh, like, i mean i mean like i i really I really think I have a very, very, very funny idea on a teal dare video. L look at it. This is a funny title. It's called this teal dare. Teal dare doesn't understand the skeptic community. <laughs> I'm not going to make that video, but it it was a funny title. It's one of those. It's like I do think that teal dare understands the uh, the skeptic community to an extent. Yeah, I know. Me too. I I just thought it was a funny title. It's not. It's not accurate. It's just sounds funny. He doesn't want to be a. What I'm saying is that he doesn't. It's just satire, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Willie, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that even though I would say, even though you, I know where you're coming from, that's what I'm saying as a joke, but I think that he does, I'm just saying personally, I think that he does know um, what the, uh, I know. I think he knows what the skeptic community is. He wants to stay outside of the skeptic community. I don't think that he understands that skeptic community just means like, are you a YouTuber that's skeptical or on Twitter? That basically, are you on social media and you are skeptical about a lot of the shit that's coming out in the media and only skeptical to the point where you won't just read and believe, you'll actually read and look up and see the difference between it. And then he goes, oh, but if you're skeptical, then surely you'd be skeptical of even the people in your community. Have I not called out Tilde? Have I not called out Spino, who at the time were part of this skeptic community? I, I, I like even though I, no, Tilde has never been a part of it. So when I called Tilde out, he wasn't part. I, like, but apparently when he was talking about the satire on the skeptic community, he included himself. None of his fucking arguments make any sense when I think about Tilde's whole fucking. I, 
I go far to say this. It's like um, if you are like um, part of this genre, because I prefer the term, um, then even if if you say that you were, that doesn't mean that you are. And if you say you aren't, that doesn't mean that you are not. I mean, like it's not just like you say I am and I'm not. You just are or you aren't, regardless of how you feel or how you think about it. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. Um, it's one of those. I mean, if you do like anti-regressive uh, content and put it on YouTube, then regardless of what you are, indeed part of the anti-regressive genre. Even if you do other things, I mean, like, I mean, like I do like gaming content, sort of. Uh, and I'm I'm not really get started on anti-regressive genres. I'm not in the genre now. But if I would do more of those videos later, then I would be. It's one of those, I think I might have to go through till there's mine's apart. You know what? I've actually come up with an idea for a new video as well, which might be good because I don't fucking care about till there. Poisoning the well. Thanks for joining us, dude. Let's uh, get you some moderator rights, guys. Hello. Thanks hey, Mida. Is it, is it Sophane? Is it Fat Pat? Which one is it? Or is it both of you guys? Are you both here? Guys, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, I, I actually feel like I might do another video until there actually now because that's actually a really good point. I've never thought about, about it from that point of view before, which is. If Tilde was doing, you know, that original piece of satire that he did on the entire community, yeah, that obviously yeah. I responded to and got a lot of backlash for. Now, a lot of people are telling me that Tilde criticized himself in that video. So is Tilde saying that he's part of the skeptic community or does he actually stand outside? Because I believe he thinks that he stands outside. But if he does, then how is he criticizing himself when he criticizes the skeptic? That doesn't make it literally has a logical inconsistency there. I mean, like, you don't really have to be friends with or talk to anybody within the, the genre in order to be part of the genre. I mean, like, there are YouTubers like Noel Plum and James Alsop who also do anti-regressive content. And they're, like, I've never seen them having any interaction with any other um, anti-regressive content creator. Okay, let, me do, uh, let me see if I can... I've sent the link out and not many people have joined. So, so Fane, if you want to join, you can join, dude. It'd be called Sort to You. I've been a... Uh... I, and I love this. Like you didn't know who. Oh, didn't know Cog knew who we were. I did. I have. I've DM'd both of you individually on Twitter, but um, on my old account. So, yeah, that that might have helped. <laughs> that it probably doesn't even exist. That message now, and I can understand how busy you guys can be. Um, wish I could have at work. Uh, just thought I'd listen in. Fair enough, dude. Uh, what we're talking about today is Spino's hypocrisy again. Y the usual stuff. I've done a video on this, but here's Spino's hypocrisy. Uh, Miss tweet deleted as he calls Blair White. He's a person who deletes the tweets. But then, obviously, I've got my lovely video showing Spino when he deletes his tweets because he purges, let alone deletes. And I had one tweet to show him basically not liking a parody account, even though he had a parody account of Sargon. And, uh, you know, he deleted that tweet because apparently it wasn't in context. Um, one of the worst excuses I've ever heard for deleting a tweet or actual evidence. I deleted the evidence because the evidence wasn't in context. Well, that doesn't make sense. Show it in context then. It's not hard if it's a conversation. So, uh, um, yeah, it's retarded. But thanks for joining us, so fain. So, yeah, like I say, it's like this. I think I could do a video, though, until they're just from his mind posts alone, where he basically almost kind of tries to brand himself as outside of this skeptic community, which I find hilarious because, oh, community. I don't agree with everyone in my community. I don't get along with them. I have a Muslim living next door to me who, whose faith I don't agree with, but he's my neighbor and technically living in my community. It's one of those names. We can. It's one of those things. Sorry, we know. We can know each other's names. We can, but and we can also, from being on YouTube and being so public about who we are, uh, poisoning the well. Poor Spino. He's in a desk. We, we aren't really so public about who we are because most of us uh, doesn't have our identity out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just. I just don't understand this. This is the thing from my point of view when it comes to Spino, like. I, I just wish he could be consistent because when I first met the guy, I, I from at first appearances and from like what I've seen on YouTube, I was like, hey, he does some good YouTube videos and stuff. He even came onto a Tim Fall Hat time and he he was very quiet, but he was still there, you know, in spirit, I suppose, or in Avatar. But it was just like he was really quiet. But it's almost like he's got to this point where he's decided to, I don't know, it's like he's decided to embrace having a go at everyone in the community. Just so that he can have the but I can't. <laughs> like it's like because half of his I, can't, I, I, re I really really like when he goes after like um antis because those videos tend to be like I, I, I really like his points. I don't agree with everything, but I really think that he brings up some good points. Are we I talking think, about Spino? Spino again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that he uh -huh. brings 
certain points uh, in it. Like I've seen his videos and I'm like, yeah, you make some good points, but it's not hard to make good points. What's hard is, is to continue being consistent. That's the hardest part. And if you aren't being consistent, taking that moment to go, yeah, okay, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite for saying that. And you've got to be able to do that. That's like that. But at least if you're being hypocritical, if you've changed your stance on something, fine. I can understand that too. That just it, it just makes sense. But when it comes to him literally saying that people... like It's the fact that he, if, even if it wasn't Blair White, even if this was fucking nobody, it's the fact that he retweets it with missed tweet deleted strikes again or he tweets it out or whatever. And it's like, you have, you have purged your tweets. Purged. But can it... Can I just say something that that I he did it, that I really liked uh, sure. when he criticized uh, Blonde and Sargon was that um, Blonde he, she said a tweet and he corrected about that and said that what she said was was racist and he basically and Sargon said but she pointed out that uh, the brown people might be Muslim and then he said it was a little more than that she also said that he, that those the men were a danger to the woman they were around, and that, that's what Blonde said. Uh, and whoa, 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 he said, whoa, 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 one second, one second, right? Um, but I, I need to finish this, it's very important. I don't get what you mean. It's very Sorry, I'd have to see this because uh, I think I saw a bit on this. So, so, and again, this is a great. Uh, I know but, you, it's like when I'm thinking about this, what you're saying to me right now, or you, uh, you'd have to get this tweet up for me because all I'm thinking about in my head is I'm pretty sure, didn't she refer to Muslims and then there's also brown people? And yes, there are brown people within Islam. Sorry, there are. There's yeah, also but he, I know, I know. But, but, but the point was that um, the blonde and Sargon, what they did, not on purpose, but what they uh, happened to do was that they were almost giving legitimacy to the uh, social justice position that critique of uh, uh, Islam is synonymous with, with disliking brown people. Because if you say that most brown people are probably Muslim, and what she did, then she, that sounds very uh, um, worryingly similar to... Um, did most to brown people are Muslim, or did she say most Muslims are brown people? Because she's not wrong in one of them, and in the no, other she's, one, she, she isn't wrong. But I mean, like, there is a little slippery slope when it comes to that. When no, that means, no, like, no, 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 she, I could say the majority of Jews are white. Does that mean I'm racist? No. Can I say? No, say no, no. I didn't say the West is white. She, I didn't say she she, she 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 was racist because I didn't I, I didn't think that she really was. I just said that no, 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 um, I, 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 what she said could be a slippery slope. No, it's not a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope if you're allowed to go down the rabbit hole, but you don't have to. All you have to do is look at it and go, um, actually, yes, the majority of Muslims are brown people, and that's it. Yeah. And then when you go, oh, but then you're conflating race with religion. No, you're not. Saying that all of one race are all of one religion is the conflation. Saying that that that's the slippery slope. But it's not a slippery slope yeah, to, because... be, to be aware that the majority of a, uh, a religion are a certain demographic. That's not. That's wrong. Uh, that's you, it's totally correct to do that. It's wrong to say that that is racism or a slippery slope to lead somewhere. Spino will turn it into the slippery slope. Of course he fucking will, because that's what he does. No, that was what he said. That was my word. Sorry. No, 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 what I'm saying is that he will turn it into the slippery slope, the slippery slope that you then saw that it can go down. But he can turn it into that slippery slope because then he goes, oh, you can't say brown when you're talking about Muslim. Yeah, you can. The majority of Muslims are brown. If you think yeah, that's right. That is precisely, but precisely what the social justice people are doing all the time. They're saying like, wait, you can't you can say that about Islam because then you are uh, saying it about brown people. And she did something very similar to that. And I can understand why he's worried about that. Like if I said uh, the, the majority of, let's say, uh, murders or stuff, I, I, I'd actually go with uh, the majority of murder is done by man. What I call this toxic mass masculinity and then brand all men with it no of course i wouldn't but i can say the majority are definitely men like do you say but it's not sexist to say that that's that's a majority do you see what i mean yeah, it that, that, that is true. It. yeah it's pointing out it's, 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 it's different thing. than going i'm gonna brand every man as having this toxic masculinity because of the majority that's like it, it's like saying that i would brand all muslims which i don't because we know the hashtag not all it's but, like brand all muslims and going all of you are this bad no when it comes to an ideology, all of you have the potential to be as bad as the ideology can be. You have got that, especially when we're talking about the slippery slope of belief and the fact that you have to submit essentially to a belief, especially Islam, because you're a Muslim, you're a submitter. So that's the problem that I have with Islam. But would I sit there and say that all Muslims are terrorists? No. Would I say the majority of terrorists right now, at least since 2000, are, are Muslim? Yes. <laughs> it's fucking, that's a fact.
but it's not that all of them are. I know there's a couple here and there that uh, that were terrorist attacks, even that guy who actually run down Muslims in the UK. Oh, by the way, did, just to throw this out there, that guy who ran down Muslims in the UK, who I, I don't condone his actions, but guess what, guys? Terror has now been taken a little bit more seriously now in the UK because they, it's a white man that did it. Yes, guys, a white oh, man did it, and now did, he's been did, taken did you the, the, there is a, I, I know exactly why that is. If you know who Equal Rights Advocate is, um, she did a perfect video explaining that. Can I can I link it? Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Can I link it in the in, yeah, sure. in the chat? But do you have to make me a? a uh, the, the two? If you haven't got moderator rights already, I'll, I'll give you some. So no, I don't. Uh, I'm going to, to to find her video. It was like I mean, I mean like that video that she did. It was literally. Um, uh, the best red pill video, that best video that makes you understand uh, how social justice war thinks, and it is. Whoa! I mean, like, um, they're basically having something called oichophobia. What yeah. was the name of the person? Uh, she's called Equal Rights Advocate. I could. Oh, by the way, as well. Oh, I. I there's a little thing as well because this actually happened today and um i actually i did realize it i realized it guys i, I think i posted it um i passed eleven thousand in subs today uh i'm really sorry yeah, I, 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 I wish i had it i wish i had his sub count no it's it's like um it's one of those sorry <laughs> that's because I, I just don't get why he called me salty before that doesn't make any sense at all Cog, uh, i still don't have moderator <laughs> rights i can't post the link what, where are you jay willie send a message on the thing so i can give you moderator rights you're not even in the fucking chat to give to I can just post something, say hello, chat, and I'll be I like, think oh, might I have been calling you. Fucking hell, <laughs> add moderator, oh, yeah. add moderator. enjoy. <laughs> fucking hell. Um, so yeah, guys, <laughs> sorry about that. Very fucking much. Thank you very much for helping me pass 11k uh, today. I really appreciate it. All you guys made that fucking possible. You did, and uh, fuck me. Like, I, I look forward to hitting 12k, 13k, continuing on upwards, and uh. Yeah, I, I, it's one of those things. I, I've been because obviously I was like, when I had passed 10k, I was like, yeah. Then I did my Tilda video, and obviously it was like, yeah, this is gonna be, this is this is gonna put a stint in my growth for a while because <laughs> it obviously when a guy does an hour and nine minute response video on you, it's gonna stunt you a little bit. He yeah. got like really pissed off at this oh. reptile. He said like, did you see that? Oh yeah. I think, well, I, I, it's one of those, like, I, I, I did see that, but with Liz Reptile, I've been pissed off with Liz Reptile, and she knows it. Um, but, like, we, yeah, we've talked about <laughs> Most we people still, know it. Yeah, no, we can still get along, me, me and Liz, but it's like, uh, and I have no issue if she, like, joins a chat or anything like that. I have, I have no and issue. It, it's it's kind of funny when we talk about about teal there is that we we could just agree to disagree about uh, some other things Bino have did. I mean, like, I agree with you much more than you do, and we can still get along despite we disagree on that. That doesn't yeah. mean that we have to, like, evacuate and not be part of the same um, oh. genre or something. Okay, Willie, just to stop you there, um, the the gay app, the the the, uh, the gay app version of me, Cog Grinder, has donated two dollars in the chat, saying, "Grats on 11k, man! Here's to 11k more." Thank you very much, Cog Grinder. I really appreciate it, guys. If you do want to download my gay dating app, just go onto your app store and type in Cog Grinder, and you should be able to find the gay dating app, Cog Grinder. Uh, I should have my head on that. Actually, check out Cog Grinder's channel. He's actually got some good content. Uh, since I've clicked the bell on his stuff, I've been watching some of his stuff recently. And yeah, it's pretty good. Um, actually, I think I've, I think I need to go through and like a few of them actually on this account. I've been watching them on my... Uh, I've got another account, but it's on my PS4. And I, obviously, I watch a lot of stuff on that as well. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's one of those. Thanks you guys. Thank you, guys. I, I appreciate getting to 11K. It was awesome. Um, I've even gained like uh, some more patrons this month as well. There's another one who's in the list uh, in the description who I've put in. Um, let me get you know I want to get his name right. I think it's uh, no actually I'm going to remember this off by heart. It's uh, it's something like um, share, share you around the world or something like that. Oh, poison in the well. Thanks, dude. Thanks, guys. So fame two dollars. Congrats on eleven k. Cheers, guys. It's fucking awesome. Amazing. Uh, Republic of Kekistan, I've just joined to hear about the gay, a gay dating app you have. What's going on? No, it's my, it's Cog Grinder. Cog Grinder is my day, gay dating app. Uh, what's going on? So, K Republic of Kekistan, we're good friends online. You may you may have seen my tweet so far on fucking um, uh, on Spino being a complete hypocrite because he's. Uh, let me try and find this. Um, this this is. I know I'm going to keep showing this. And yes, how long can I do this for? It's great because when you people join the chat, I'm like, dude, you want to see this, right? Miss tweets deleted strikes again. Republic of Kekistan, you're you're very you're very big on Twitter. Have you ever heard of um, I don't know 
Uh, David Sherrer, a.k.a. Spinosaurus Kin, a.k.a. Alternative Facts. Have you ever heard of this guy uh, deleting tweets ever? Have you ever heard of... Uh, I, I know. Matt ever Chris heard of, uh, said he did, so I know he did. No, he definitely has. I've got a video of, of, of a tweet that he's deleted, which shows he deletes tweets. He purges his fucking tweets. He purged so many tweets from the people, because when uh, Edgy Sphinx was on Twitter quite prominent, a lot of his fans obviously pissed off. I miss him. Yes, and they made a lot of parody accounts, which he didn't like. And that's what I went back looking for when I found the tweets. But he has purged shit tons. Get Spider win. Duffy, I sent the link out when he was in the chat. He, he didn't want to join. That guy T was here. Spinosaurus Kin was here as alternative facts on his new channel name, obviously. I posted the, li the, the live Hangout link under his comment, his comment in the chat, and he didn't want to fucking join because he's a fucking spaz now seriously he's spineless he's spineless saurus kin spineless saurus kin it's it just is how he is cognitive thought alternative facts didn't do nothing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck you guys <laughs> yeah no he didn't do nothing bro he didn't do shit he's never deleted tweets cognitive thought can i get a link sorry i had to ask mate yeah cool uh let me just uh paste it in there again guys if you do want to join you can i don't mind i like it when you guys join me for a chat it's, it's quite fun um, I, I enjoy opening my chats to anyone who wants to join because you never know what can happen. Thor might join and go, you're a cunt because of this. And I'm like, cool, let's go through this then. Like, who knows? Um, call him a, a re re a retard. Yeah, he's a retard. I see, I see Dave as a retard. I see him as a spaz. And I also know that he's literally autistic, but I don't fucking care about that. Regardless of his autism, he's still a spaz. <laughs> he just is. And I don't fucking care. Um... It's it's just I, what I can't stand most about him is the fact that he has this lording over, like mentality of like, uh, oh, I've never done anything wrong, and you're such an idiot. Look how stupid you are, dude. <laughs> come on. Hey, Mitchie failure. Fox, Fair enough. You, you've got a uh, moderator rights. You can have that. Oh, it's failure signed up. Failure terminated. Doku and also Taylor. Sorry for that shouting you out before. Thanks for joining the chat, guys. How you doing? Yo, what's up, Todd? <laughs> What's up, failure? What's everybody else? I'm sorry, uh, Taylor and uh, Blue Demon guy. I don't know your name. Uh, Jay Wheeler. Jay Will. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Hi. So, what you want here with Jay Will the, the other day, Doku? When we were in the yeah, uh, I was, but I wasn't really paying attention, man. I've got to lie. It's been a it's been a long <laughs> week. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Hello, failure. Uh, hey, hey guys. If you want to raise some money for fit, fit hey. for failure for next year, not joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. it's shit con. Fill your yeah. con 2018. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And listen, I'll be honest with you. I'm actually going to let you guys know in the chat right now as well uh, that I, I may be doing another fun me thing uh, next year, probably January or something like that, to go to VidCon because I, I would love to go to VidCon. And obviously, oh. if you guys want to see me there, then we can make that happen. Um, uh, I'm obviously going to try and put my, my own money into it as well, but it's it's fucking. It's so hard to get to America, you guys. It's uh, okay. if, 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 I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh, What's your I'm plan? Looking, I'm looking at a house in Anaheim. It would come out to like about $400 for eight days. And uh, I think between the 10 of us, uh, uh, 10 people, we can make it work. Yeah. If nice. can, if I, the thing is, if I can cut the price down to his, like, because the thing is, if I can get over to America, um, and something again, like I, I think to go to VidCon, it may be about a grand and a half. Like that's that. I think I made it. Got I got it down to that. I think when we were working out, for like the week here, here, here's the thing. Like a, a hotel, like a crappy hotel, is gonna like run you at least six hundred bucks. No, no, that's what, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is, this is what I'm saying to you, Phil. You. So when I said a grand and a half, remember when we were working this out, and I was like, well, I can just sleep in the bath in your hotel room, and it'll just cost me a grand and a half to get there. For a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Staying like I just sleep yeah. in the bath, like I don't care. Yeah, but, uh, but I might, you, I might be going to. With... With... Sorry, go on, no, go on. No, sorry, but but if you yeah. come up with four hundred dollars, there's a house with a fire pit, a pool, a jacuzzi. Yeah, that's the one that. Uh, uh, is that the one where Andy Walski was saying? <clears throat> no, 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 no. This is one I found, and uh, so oh, right. so far the plan now is Dave Cullen, Base Mama, oh. myself. Me. Uh, <laughs> Me and a, a few <laughs> other people are gonna 
are going to be staying in that house. I'd love, to, I'd love to meet Dave in real life, man. He's fucking awesome. Yeah. I had a chat with him last night during that thing. Oh, yeah, guys, guys, guys. I know you may have been a part of this as well, and I want to let everyone know about this, and I'll be doing a short video on this. I've just, I've just fucking remembered because I've had fuck all sleep for the last few days. We raised for Dan Count Dankula last night. In fact, let's have a look what he's going to now, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to thank everybody that was there. Yeah, you know, uh, I watched that. It was, it was interesting. Hey, guys, do you know that skeptic community? We, well, we came together as a community, skeptic or not fucking skeptic, and we raised money for a good fucking cause. Uh, let me well, try and find this because it was the, in my the most The most important part of that uh, stream was Charming Man. He, he really helped out a lot with uh, <laughs> kind of roasted for about two oh, that, hours. Sorry, <laughs> that was so funny. Wait, are you guys talking about uh, Count Dankula? Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing about Charmin, man. So I was joking the whole time, thinking that he was joking back. He was actually like, like really serious and mad at me for a thing that you remember back in back still when. Hmm? After you spoke to him, was he still angry? Yeah. Does he's, that mean autistic? Does that mean autistic screeching intensifies? Yeah. Well, he he rage quit and uh, he had a lot of messages. He told me to fuck off. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, about three months ago, when that whole thing with Liz was happening, I was supposed to have a stream with him, and I totally forgot. And I like had like fucking no sleep in me, and I was fucking tired. I was about to crash. It was like, "Are you ready for a stream?" I'm like, "Oh fuck, I totally forgot. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Can we like reschedule?" And he got really mad about that and we haven't spoken since <laughs> and uh apparently it's it's still been something that has been bothering him so <laughs> right, right. I, and i have to put this out there i love charming man's content to pieces but the guy is he finds it hard to take a joke i seriously mm -hmm. and i've i've, mm -hmm. I've DM'd him about this as well right and i've said this to it because when obviously Undoom did the Doctor Bashir and how charming my... You know what? Let me show you what I'm... So guys, I determined, lad. Hello. We... Uh, I just want to show, guys, this is how much that we earned. Like, so this happened in an eight-hour stream. We passed a 12,000 goal, and we're at 14,380 to help Count Dankula with his legal defense fund for obviously being arrested over a fucking joke. Um, he taught his dog <laughs> a trick. He yeah, taught the what? dog a trick, and now that's illegal. Like, what the he, fuck is next? Wait, 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 wait. Why, why isn't Gothic Coast arrested? He did a much worse thing about you than what um, yeah, uh, Gothic Lever did. Because he's in America. Oh, that's right. Uh, um, but but here, here's, here's how little Charmin Man can take a joke. I, I told Count Dacula that he was going to get fucked in his earlobe when he goes to prison, and he, he actually laughed at that. So. See, yeah. Kyle. Yeah. So guys, this is uh this is Dr. Bashir, obviously. He looks <laughs> uncannily like fucking seriously. Und oh my god, he does. It's Charming Man, I don't care. Now, what I said to Charming Man after I... Because Undoomed made me aware of this, and I actually said this <laughs> last night as well. Undoomed actually sent me the picture, and I, and I was like, have you not noticed so far? And I was like, I just didn't... I know who you're on about, but ne Next Generation... I was more about the... I, I think I like the, the originals, and uh, Next Generation I enjoyed, but like... When I saw it, and then when I saw it, I was like, "Fuck!" Like obviously, I made the clip. In the instantly, I was like, "I know who this actor is," and I also now because uh, obviously he's in Game of Thrones as well. So uh, um, obviously, there's the Game of Thrones scenes where he gets stabbed by a load of women. So I said to him, "Why don't you just do a little meme like with your voice going like, oh, fuck, feminists are stabbing me or something,' and just embrace the joke? Do you know what I mean?" And he was just like, "No, not funny, <laughs> not funny." And I'm like. But it is. You look just like him. Like seriously, it's funny. Like, and he's just like, no, no, no. No, it's, it's not, not just funny, dude. It's, it's fucking funny. hilarious. <laughs> Here, here's what bothered me about about that after the stream, though, is I, I thought we were just joking back and forth, but then I figured out. Oh wait, he was actually serious all the times. So he was calling me fat and that yeah. I have diabetes and. Wow. And, and it was like, oh, okay, so that was that was your worst. That was your worst. Oh my worst. god! I'm just going like fucking guys, playground guys, insults. Guys, I'm just guys. He was drunk as well. We're gonna tell. We're, we're gonna give you the context that he was pretty fucking smart. We may have had a work for the fact that. The thing is, is that I can understand him being drunk and not really being able to come up with the best insults and stuff. Even though fat and diabetes, that's not an insult. It's not even a funny. It's not even clever. Like it's just. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, it's, no, no, it's no, a no. playground I'm install. Saying, I'm, not you, I'm not saying you can't make fat, fat jokes, but but make them witty. You know, don't just yeah. be like fat. You're fat, mate. And You're fat. Let's be honest. His his joke. His jokes were like were generally very. Well, they weren't really that you know controversial in an essence because if you analyze it really hard, all he's doing is just making you know silly Nazi references. That's all he's doing. 
I, I don't see why that should be illegal to make Nazi references. Of course, exactly. But this is the thing. When it comes down to uh, with Charming Man, though, with you, though, know, failure, like, it's not hard, though, to make like a clever fat joke. Like, he could have turned around and said, What people didn't know when they were raising funds for failure to go to VidCon is he was paying for two, three, four seats. Uh, <laughs> just make up a number. Does it matter? The plane. He was. I had. I had a... <laughs> You know, I actually have a puggle myself. Maybe I could teach you to do that too. You know the reason when, when, why, I, when I was I trying to raise you when know I was trying to I'm gonna roast you right now. Do you know the reason why you've got so much of a sub count failure? Because why? people are orbiting around you. They're just they're just drugged <laughs> dragged in by the gravitational pull of you. Now, carry on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, I, when I was trying to raise money to go to uh, to VidCon, I had an uh, elephant in the room mock up a picture of uh, Operation Dumble Drop with my face on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, but this is the thing. This is what I love about you, Feldio, and the majority of people that I get along with are people that can take a joke on themselves. It's why a lot of people said that they like me is because like I can take a joke when someone's taking the piss out of me. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, like the, the most, the most that people say about me is that I speak a lot. Really, I'm not aware of that. You do lecture, mate. You do I, lecture, I, mate. I fucking ramble. I seriously do. But um, I, I kind of like that you do because then the stream will be entertaining all the time, and you don't. Hey. Put any <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, your, your introduction to people should be like, uh, "Do you have uh, three hours for a short chat?" <laughs> yeah, it also goes with your character as well because you're very assertive, and that's what I really like about you. Because right. like, when you're dealing with bullshit, you're you sort of like lecture them right into submission. That's what I like about you. And then the lad in the chat. Yeah, yeah that's that really was, hello. That's mainly, hello. Yeah. hello, Nelson. Sorry, guys, and Kelsey. Nelson. Minty Fox as well. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I've I've been sharing. Yeah, no problem, dude. Hey. Dude, just to make a point, that was one of the things that irritated me about the stream the other day. If you're gonna be arguing in fucking hypotheticals, it's hypothetical. It has no grounding in reality. Like, oh, you're gonna give me a low argument and ask me to give you a yes or no answer when it's not a yes or no answer, and I'm trying to explain why, and all you're gonna do is talk over me with a fucking question, going, oh no, it's a yes or no answer. No, it's not a yes or no answer. Because the, right, the moment that you turn around to me, right, and say that a human hasn't got moral agency, you turn them into a. a, a oh, we're back to that, are we? My biggest problem with that. Let me just point out this though: the only thing that I can fathom in my head when I think about that is, is like, uh, one of those infected from twenty-eight days later. And yes, I wouldn't have an issue killing them. Like, like, uh, and this is the thing. But that's that's how my brain's got to go into. That's a fictional reality. It's not real. I actually can't think of a person in reality who. If I can I can conceive as not having the capacity for moral agency because there are exactly it's not a realistic argument like you're asking me to choose like does a does a cow have the same value of life as a human being yeah you can Absolutely argue hypotheticals not. and morals all you want but dude you're asking me to choose between the life of a cow and a human being like yeah. which one do you think I'm gonna pick Oh, no, but then, come on, man. Yeah, but then, then they think that human, because when they go, oh, so this is down to species and not down to the, and it's not down to having this moral agency. And it's like, no, it's but, both. It's a mixture of two. Because they are human, they're oh. species. They therefore but it's like what I said, have the moral agency. No, no, listen to me. As a human, your species, you inherently have the moral agency. As your species a cow, you inherently don't. So it's apples and oranges comparing them. Yeah, that was, I was going to say, the best way I could. The best way I could make an analogy for it, the best analogy I can possibly come up with, you're trying to ask me to compare an apple to an orange because they're both fruit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, 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 sorry, you don't argue in high school. Guys, guys, listen to me. All you have to do is take all those attributes off the apple that make it the apple and make it into the orange. Then why, why won't you want to eat the orange that's now an orange? Because you'd eat it when it's an orange. So obviously, apple is a hypothetical argument. It's ridiculous. At the end of the day, it has no grounding in reality. It's just an argument so the so someone can morally grandstand. That's really all it's about. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. If you take an orange and you take out all of the, the sourness and make it into the taste of an apple and you set, change the skin to just like an apple, and, you know, you change the bits about it that basically aren't an apple and turn it into an apple, essentially, apart from, let's say, it's an orange-colored apple. Would hey, I, gotta, I actually got a question here for anybody who actually knows anything about meat here. Uh, does actually killing it when it's scared actually give the meat a, uh, a foul yes. taste? Yes. That's mm. what I've heard. There is a... There's a uh, hormonal or enzyme reaction that does occur. Which is the reason why. That's well, what the reason I've, I asked that's was what because they, uh, uh, millions or people who are against eating meat in general will say that, um, oh, the way that they kill cows and pigs and all that bullshit is inhumane. 
Okay, so okay, I was going to ask you. All it is, all it is, all, all, all it is, is just a buzz on the head. That's all. I just, that's it's like, I don't believe it. No, guys, guys, can I explain this to you? Because this is the difference between it, okay? So let's talk about a humane way of killing humans. How do we kill humans? We put, a, just put an, we put an audience in front of them of the people that they've done wrong. We have several injections that slowly go into them and their heart rate goes up and they're, they're going to die and they know it and they're panicking throughout that entire... Like, all the way up to that point as well, they're being told, yeah, you're going to die. You're going to be dying yeah, on this. Death you're gonna penalty is, is How do we get that? How is it more of a humane killing than even humans get? We actually, we actually treat them better to the point where we feed them, we give them somewhere, somewhere to live, and we put a bolt through their fucking head and make it as quick and painless as possible. Possible, and as soon as they're pulled through the head, slit throat, hung up, there you go, and it'll bleed out. There, are people, there, there are people that say that pigs can tell when they're about to get killed. Yeah, I'm sure they are, but, but I'm saying. <laughs> there's fucking, uh, there's okay, actually right. this fairly autistic woman, okay? And she's made it her life goal to design slaughterhouses. That uh, have a very particular design to it to reduce anxiety in the animal. To wow, wow. where they never see another animal she must, die. She, she must watch Babe. You know that you know that pig uh, movie. Well, no, no, no. Like, this this was done for the meat so that we didn't taste the fear. Yeah, jeez. Like, again, good job of them. them. Someone made this point the other day. Like, because uh, some vegans have said this, obviously, in the thing going like, uh, "Yeah, no, but how in fear do you think these animals are when they go to a slaughterhouse?" And it's like, when I take an animal to any new area, it will be scared. But if what you're advocating for is the fact that we just need to make sure that a gun is next to that animal's head throughout its life, so it doesn't get scared by the gun, and one day it goes boom, shoot, I'm fine with that, fine. But it's still going to end up with meat as a product, isn't it? And you're not happy with that. So it's not really about the animal being in fear at all, because we can take that out of the equation and you still won't be happy with the death. Yeah, they, they now go through a good six months of living there and actually going through the turn cycle that they're oh going to die in without dying. I love can I they say, learn to relax. I love this. Can I say what I'm arguing against? I'm arguing against a person who believes that Islam is a race. What? Oh my God. Oh my wait, 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 what? A person I'm arguing against on Twitter are, is saying oh, that no, Islam we, is a race. We, oh, no. we, I can't be asked. Like, that, that just completely tangented off to... I cannot be asked yeah. talking about Islam today. <laughs> We're talking about uh, Spinosaurus. I also wanted to throw some crack account down here and there. And obviously there's a little bit from the vegan leftover debate because, my God, it didn't go anywhere. The, my yeah. only problem with that debate, like I say, is that it got to the point of... Him, they started off with him going, oh, and I, and I think I was very um, accommodating. I think I took on board his questions. I think I answered him in his very hypothetical ways as best as I could to a point. And then we got to the moral agency thing, and he decides to go. And he, and this is the thing. Remember, the entire stream was was vegan. Ask yourself, saying to me, right? He wanted to show my inconsistencies, my inconsistency. But then he then makes it into a hypothetical where it's not my inconsistencies anymore. Because he's saying, so would you treat a human like this because they have moral agency? Yes, and you treat a cow like that because you think they don't. Yes, exactly. Okay, we'll take the moral agency from the human. They're not human in my eyes. You've literally taken away a fundamental part of them that makes them human. They're a 28 days later thing, and sure, I'd kill them. Um, because they're a 28 days later is infected thing that is acting only on pure instinct. And guess what? We eat meat. Like it or not, we eat meat. That's an instinct. Thing. Oh, that's a peer to nature felt. I don't fucking care. 28 days yeah. later, that's how I see a person that lacks moral agency. That's you know, how I see them. You know, I just hate. I hate how vegans don't understand that human beings are omnivores. Get that into your thick heads. We are omnivores. Now realize this. Realize this, though, about the whole fucking conversation is that when he turns around to show his examples of humans that don't have moral agency, how subjective is it to go, oh, well, I've got these retards who are attacking their carers. That doesn't mean moral agent. That doesn't mean shit. In fact, them attacking yeah. them, maybe from their point of view, is they think that that person is going to try and hurt them, even though they're helping them. And subjectively, when they help them, they see it as hurting, which means in their moral agency, they're seeing that as a bad thing and not a good thing. So you've only ju you just proved they have moral agency because they can. It's a natural reaction. Like, they're oh, reacting to something that they find to be threatening. It doesn't mean they don't have moral agency. It just means they're not necessarily well. Well, to be blunt, they're retarded. I tried they don't to understand. Haven't there been studies that plants have feelings or whatever? Oh, oh no, yeah. been, well, to an extent, the studies are inconclusive on that. And it's not that they have 
feelings. I, I, I've, I've looked into those. Um, it's not even that this. I, I've, I've, had, I've had arguments about trying to say that plants are sentient to an extent. Well, I've well done it's that. just they don't understand what's happening to them. They don't understand what's going. Ar they don't understand what's going around ar uh, around on around them. Jeez, if I can fucking talk, they just don't understand. That's that's the issue. They're scared. Like, yeah, that's a natural reaction. If I see something I don't understand, yeah, I'm gonna be scared because I don't understand what's going on. It's that's a natural reaction. It's, it's, it's a natural human fear. fear. But what's the difference between a natural reaction and something that's purely instinctual? So obviously when a light turns to the sun, would you say that's just an automatic response? Would you say that um, automatic response well, means that something has moral agency? Because then obviously the argument becomes, oh, well, if a cow gets bit and it doesn't like it, I would call that a natural response. Whereas yes. when it comes to this human who's retarded doing what we would consider an unnatural response for a human, because they're human and can still have the capacity for moral agency, and morals are subjective, he may have moral agency that is subjective to our own, which we don't understand. So we would see murder wrong. Uh, but let's just do the subjective, obviously. Murder wrong, unless yeah. it's wrong. And, uh, and people being alive and we don't kill them is good, okay? And when you look at a person who's retarded, they may see it as, me drinking Coke my entire life is good, but if you put water in that glass, I'm going to go, no, and spaz out because I don't want water in my life. I see that as bad. And you're like, but water's better for you. I don't care. I like Coke. I think Coke is best. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I was just curious what exactly... What is with this argument now? What, what is? It sounds like it's a, an emotional argument. Yeah, it's, it's moral. Like it's a purely emotional argument. Subject, it's a well, pure subjective argument. It's subjective on moral agency. Morals are subjective, but when he's talking about moral agency, it's the ability to perceive. Well, if you're going to, well, if you're going to argue for um, uh, appeal to emotion or arguments, you can argue the fact that uh, even vegetables or plants in general can fucking feel pain. It's yeah. been scientifically yeah. proven for that fact. Okay. Oh no, but yeah. this is <laughs> exactly <laughs> the thing. Exactly. So we. Play. Go down any path you want with the vegan thing. I know that it can. Sorry, Crown has joined the uh, the side chat and he's put. What did Spino do now? If you want to join the hangout crowd, if you are free, you might be editing. <laughs> okay. Um, well, he's uh, not going to enjoy me here. He's not going to so enjoy me. Why? Not, uh, because I. What's I, the argument, Cog? Like, is what? it? I saw the hashtag. What is it? Name the trait. Yes. Okay, so I the would... argument is this, right? It all starts off on a faulty premise, okay? So name the trait. Person one says humans have, um, I think, what is it? Humans have moral value. Okay. And then, yes. and, then per, and then person two says, right, so if you took traits away from that, that, that human to make it into an animal, would you treat it then like the animal, basically? And it's like, well, okay. it would be a human when they're not a human. That's so, how... all right, here's my question, right? Let's say somebody says... And uh, intelligence, the ability to perceive intelligence. What would be the responsive argument to that? This is another, right, right, right. Again, I, I, I don't know what their response would be. When I think about um, uh, moral agency, okay? Moral agency comes mm -hmm. from conceptual thought. Conceptual thought, again, is something that's with it. You don't see this a lot in the animal kingdom. Um, and, and I'm not saying that, I've said this in the, the live stream as well, I'm not saying that there aren't some animals out there with the intelligence to be taught moral agency by humans and in fact i think without humans i actually don't think morals would even exist I, it's, it's, it, it literally is a social construct made by humans nothing wrong with yeah. it being there but it's a social construct moral agency because we have moral agency it's what separates uh -huh. us from animals and that's what it, yeah, and it's not that those animals can't be taught this by a human but on their own they won't just do it that's why you don't see animals with what they would consider moral agency you just don't see that so wait. So what you're saying is, is it's it's an argument based on morality circling around. With uh, let's say you say intelligence, they would say something similar and akin to, well, if you stripped a human being of intelligence, would it be okay to, from what I've heard, ha <laughs> have kill a no, they have Listen, no. We are, we are killing brain dead people. So there are no issue with with euthanizing uh, those that are like um, th those that are basically like vegetables. There's no issue with euthanizing those people that essentially are completely brain dead. So what he's trying oh, yeah. to say: fully functioning person, but they're pretty much well, not fully functioning. They are retarded because they're missing that part of the brain. I'm guessing where where they can have moral agency. And what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. when you take that part out of a human you essentially have an infected person from 28 days later. That's what you have when you take the moral agency out. Would I kill that person? Damn fucking right I'd kill that person. 
Well, yeah, like at that um, point, they're no longer considered human. But they're not human, exactly. Well, the thing is, you shouldn't even necessarily be arguing morality. It should be an argue of ethics more than anything. That would be a more accurate. Term. I know, I, oh, no, he yeah, goes. No, I this is an argument. I have ethics. a better. I have, I have a better explanation. Guys, guys, guys. But again, ethics are just basically they're based on morals, aren't they? And morals are subjective. Well, ethics. Yeah, but morals, morals and ethics are both entirely subjective. I mean, yeah, let's let's take the concept of. Something absolutely ridiculous, like chickens have feathers, and that's why it's okay to murder them. Well, if a human had feathers, then is it okay to kill them? Fucking yeah, I don't give a shit. Like, that, not like that. no, that's not why I'm this... killing them, though. It's like, and this is the thing that I don't get because I was trying that I tried going through every hypothetical I could, and he just didn't like it. And he's like, "Oh, you're getting off topic." No, I'm not. I'm getting on topic when I'm talking about if we're going to kill humans that have uh, literally they if they've lost. Uh, their moral agency, you know, a 28 day, days later sort of person. Not infected though, remember, they just don't have that part of the brain, so they just act like something from 28 days later. They're not infected, yeah. just acting like that, like an animal, okay? Would I see an issue with killing those people? And I was like, no, I don't. And then I was like, and in fact, on top of that, considering we have the black market and we have people that actually are fucking, you know, uh, they, 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 they are cannibals, then you could technically open a market for it too. With the meat. Yeah, so and let's take fun. that further concept of you would also be able to take the uh, the organs from it and give it to people who need them. Look, we don't need pig valves anymore. Have a real human heart because this yeah. one was worthless and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give it back to Minty. I'm sorry. Well, we have printing now. That's gonna happen. I don't give a shit about hey, well. printing. What it's saying is Kraut, it's Kraut 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 Yeah, I think he's just drawing. Uh, no. What's all trying to do now? Uh, that's right. Sp so Spino has uh, posted a, tw a, tw a tweet on Twitter on his alternative facts new account saying, uh, Miss tweet deleted strikes again from Blair White. Now, I don't care what Blair White has said. I just find the, the hypocrisy in the guy who never deletes his tweet, Spino. You know, he's never yeah. posted any of his tweets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cog, he keeps making attacks to anybody he deems as having a notion of being far right. I mean, he made an attack on my video. He he made a little sneaky tweak that oh, I, I did I a call of yeah yeah it was like a pity fucking thing and I even I asked him whether he wanted to do a stream on Fox but he acted like a fucking coward that's what I fucking hate about him now he, oh, he yeah, just he, acts like he's a off YouTube he's off YouTube and he only does Twitter now no, because you can't get dislikes I, 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 no he's not he's still on YouTube he's called Alternative Facts but he yeah but he's only like... made two videos you know he used to make videos about every little fucking Twitter yeah. spat he encountered and now he doesn't do that anymore. Yeah. Well, he, he did join me in the, uh, he was in the chat before the site, obviously the YouTube chat before on this stream. I sent him the link after he was like, oh, you're really, I don't know why I'm salty. I don't know why I'm apparently, salty. I've got more subs than him. I don't get why I'm supposed to be jealous of Spino. Um, he actually had more subs. Uh, he, he had uh, 12,000 uh, subs before. So we had, uh, so if he had all subs left, then he would have more than you. Yeah, and he lost like 2,000 after the whole fucking Sargon thing, which can happen, but it's like, but I don't really care. Like, it doesn't really matter what the sub count is it's to, to say that a person is salty you have to demonstrate their jealousy towards well, the, them. The, the thing is also like he called out people on things that they deleted and the thing about deleting a tweet is it kind of indicates that you are sorry for for saying that thing in the first place if you delete a tweet it means you delete it for a reason. You delete it because you acknowledge you said something stupid because you acknowledge you said something. I'm guilty of all Oh no, crap. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I've deleted it when I've. I, if I actually, usually when I delete something, it's because I've made a like a, 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 an error in my spelling or something, and I'm like, oh fuck, and then I delete it to rewrite it. But um, and I usually think before I tweet personally. Yeah, that's why I, I, you don't see a lot of deleted tweets. With Spino, the tweet that he deleted, the one that's within the video that I did, he deleted after I pointed it out to him, after he'd done his parody account on Sargon, and this tweet was basically him going, oh, look at you, you look at this guy with the parody account, obviously you have top-notch genetic material. And it's like, dude... But that was actually quite funny. <laughs> and then he deleted the tweet, and then he says, oh, but the tweet was out of context, so you deleted it? Is it what? That's not But hard. there is nothing that I find that to be very interesting. <laughs> he, he said that... That was the best in why but would you say that? This, this, this is very interesting that uh, Spinus said before that uh, Edgy deleted every, all his stuff in shame, but wouldn't he have done the same later? I mean, like, 
Fuck. Uh, that's kind of hypocritical of him. Uh, say. He uh, deleted uh, it in shame. Then uh, she uh, does uh, the uh, same uh, thing, uh, but okay. That's Edgy's own thing. And even though I'm pretty sure Edgy's going to be on a comeback soon, but um, when I've talked about back tonight, exactly. two yeah, hours ago. Yeah. Um, He's, uh, but the thing is, is like, because I've I pointed Edgy out to this in Discord as well. I've laughed at him to his face. I've said this to several people that his last video on YouTube was basically him going, "We need more." I don't like that. He... Then he deletes his alt right YouTube account, and I was like, "You're then, a big uh... YouTuber, so why would you do that?" And he was just like, "Oh no, that's just irrelevant. That's just my personal shit." And I was like, "But why advocate for more channels? Then delete your own channel of that type." I was. Like, I used to be in exactly. a dis I used to be in Discord group actually. Yeah, no, I, I think I don't know if he's still got that. Like, uh, I've I've spoken to him a little bit on on Discord and stuff, but like, well, what's his new channel called? Christ, something ruined. I I, I forget what it's called. Uh, Brave, Brave and ruin. Uh, Braving ruin. Braving ruin. Yeah, naked. Check him out then, too. He's got good. Co I, Edgy always does good content. I like his stuff. So mm -hmm. you, you know what we need? We need. Too. I really like him. Well, you know what we need? We need like more, you know, populist nationalist YouTubers on the site. That's what we need. Uh. uh I believe and, um, that that uh, well, I mean, okay, well, you robot, robot, you're, you're robot he's my, roboting my dude. Yeah, well, you're breaking up, man. So yeah, like I say, this has probably been quite a long stream now. And I, I basically came on here to do this, and then he turned up in the side chat, uh, Spino. So I was like, "Hey, dude, if you want to join, here's the hangout link." Yeah, I, I, I hope he joins because if if he joins, he can fucking own up to that tweet that he made of me. He's fucked up. Oh, he's yeah, no, no, no. The thing about Spino is he won't um, ever because his t entire YouTube existence is basically based on moralizing to people. Yeah, he's, yeah, and he's a coward. He's an utter coward. Spino, if you're listening to this, you are a coward. <laughs> you are a coward. But uh, I'm, I'm, I used to want to say that I really, really liked uh, Spino's MRA content, but he like went after Lauren and said that he did better MRA content than Lauren did. But Lauren have her all her advocacy for men totally open, and he has made all his private. So I don't understand. <laughs> The crazy, Even though he did better content, I don't get it. The crazy thing, though, if I did a video as an example, um, but in fact, I've actually rang you up before. In fact, crowd to tech to go. I don't, I, I don't like this that you're seeing you doing and shit and stuff. And we've had, we've had that obviously that that um, that Skype yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is what I like about you, and, and that you will actually take on board your mistakes. That's my problem with Spino. Is that I'm the sort of person that if you were like, do you not realize you did this and this? And I'd be like, oh fuck. I'm a fan. Yeah, fair enough. I fucking stand correct. Yeah, but he, exactly. He's doing like this. He's saying like um, he's holding lower in an edge to a much higher standard than he holds himself. And that's no, 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 super critical. He, he, his problem is all he does, you know, imagine the thing with my edgy video, the, the reason why I, I reject, regretted my edgy video and the reason why I supported him in coming back is l watch it and compare yeah. it, for example, to an ARU video. Because all I do in the Edgy video is essentially, Edgy, you're a mean person. I went through your YouTube, social media, and Twitter history and found this nasty sounding yeah. thing, this really nasty sounding thing. But I don't actually take on any alt-right <laughs> arguments. I don't. Yeah, and, and the, thing is, the thing is, have you ever seen Spino take on an argument? Can you remember the last time he took a video someone made where someone argues a certain point and says, okay, you argue this point, let me dissect this point. No, he doesn't do that. What he does is, you behave badly. You yeah. behave in this bad way. He, he, and that's all he does by now. And I'm starting to think that this kind of behavior is just shit. He just tells off people. Crowd, crowd, he just crowd. tells them off. Totally fine. This is the thing. If you want to sit there and go, this person's acting in, well, from my subjective standards, in a uh, in an incorrect way, that's fine. But when you then do them yourself, you're a fucking hypocrite. And you have to realize that what, where you have nothing about you that's even... Like, if you can sit there and have a go at somebody and then just and do the same thing that you've just had a go at somebody about, what the fuck? It just doesn't make sense. And, and something I, Actually, I would like to... to to, to remind, uh, to bring up to, to Kraut, because like uh, Edgy said uh, he, uh, 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 regarding you and Spino's critique of him, was that he said, um, pressing like on a video doesn't mean that I agree with everything on it. Yeah. Did you yeah, see well, that? The thing is also, wanna... no, the, the thing is also, he liked these videos years ago on occasions, a year ago or something like that. Uh, yeah. A year before I made his YouTube channel, and to go for something that he liked a year ago and say, "Hey, this proves you're a horrible person now," when you have the availability to just personally talk to them, is yes. bullshit. 
you can change the actually you bring up a really good point and here's here's and this applies to the internet but it also applies to real life if you interact with other people and other individuals expect to get criticism and yes there are going to be there are going to be people out there who are bigots who are assholes mm -hmm. who are going to fucking talk to you and say like hey look i don't like you it doesn't matter if they don't like you because of your ideas it doesn't matter if they don't like you because of your hair color your skin color at the end of the day, you're not really going to change somebody's opinion, but how you interact and how you deal with those people has everything to do with it. So but if I've you changed your, my opinions. If you put I, your I've changed my opinion recently. Yeah. Expect recent. someone to challenge you. But how you handle your robot in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. Really you bad, Goku, your that robot. has a lot to it. Goku, your robot in yeah, I, have you know, go, I have to go make a video. Adult. Um, no, it's, it's, uh, before you leave, Scott, 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 before you go, I have to say something. No, don't leave. Can, can, yeah, I, can, can I start? Um, do you have, uh, you know, I know that Edgy did a guest video for you a long time ago. And if you still have that, have that video, uh, can you send it to me? Because I really want to see it again. Edgy sent it to me, I think. Um, Crow. 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 Can, can I just make one more point before you go? I'm going to do an animation set of you in the next following month, and I was just going to let you know, if I create an image, will you retweet it? Yeah, I'll retweet your image. Um, Crow. Okay, Crow. But what could you said, could, what you said just a moment ago uh, about Spino actually kind of cut me deep, and I needed to kind of hear that. Thank you. What do you mean? Well, I often made videos where I criticize people, but because of my shaking, I was unable to actually edit, and I feared editing. And today I actually did that kind of stuff, and I, I find it much more enjoyable than just talking to a camera. Yeah. I needed to hear that I was doing it wrong the other way and continue with doing reply the, the, the thing, The point I'm making is, if you're going to criticize someone on a political position, what you do is you, you criticize their arguments, you criticize their points. You don't go and say, you're a bad person because you said mean things. Th that, that's nonsense. <laughs> and that's all that yeah. Spino is doing now. You said mean things. You do things that are mean, 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 mean. And it's yeah. pathetic garbage. And you're correct. You criticize their ideas. You don't criticize the individual. And the well, funniest thing is that yeah. the most whining they had was when I made my one hour video, which in essence, that video, and I'll freely admit it, was just doing what they do. Finding things they said which were mean things and just smashing them into their faces. You did a character, you did a character assassination wow. instead of actually looking at their arguments, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's exactly the point. That's, that's, that's kind of the point. Are you really talking about robot the end of the It's not about necessarily criticizing the ideas, but we find people attacking the individuals in a way to try to delegitimize them as individuals. Therefore, their ideas are not legitimate. They don't attack the ideas. They don't try to approach an actual debate. They don't. They don't do any of that. Instead, it's just oh well, look at this. You said this. Like okay, like so like. I, I remember conversations in the past with Spina and so forth where we kept asking why, you know, are we not successful against the alt right? And the reason is fundamentally because we apply social justice tactics against the alt right. You said mean things, you said racist things instead of actually looking into the arguments and oh, debunking yeah. the arguments. Yeah, and it makes them look it makes them look like children. It's like playground tactics. Also, it's like also, okay, he, do we use the red ball also, the, or the blue ball? Here's, like, an interesting, here's an interesting fact about Spino. He wouldn't invite anybody from the alt right to do a stream with him. He would not even dare right. because he would know he that did. his would get well, caught. You no, know, he had an argument with Edgy uh, yeah, with well. moderator, didn't he? Well then again that was more over there for him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but then he, he, he no. made it private. Yeah, he no. made it unlisted. So. Yeah, no, no. yeah, he had an argument with Edgy over this article that Edgy shared. That it should be on Edgy's Hangout channel, though. It should still be on his Hangout channel. No, he, 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 he privated everything on his Hangout guys, channel. Guys, I, I do want to bring this uh, this stream to a close anyway, because uh, everyone, I think... Yeah. Oh. I'm going to drop out, then. Thanks, Cog, for, for just dropping me the invite. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice talking to you, Kraut. Nice talking to you, Kraut, man. Have a good one. You'll see you, Kraut. Have a good day.
Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. So uh, thank you everyone who's watching, 78 viewers. We've got Doku here. We've got Failure, Jay Willie, Kelsia, Mincy Fox and Ichabod. Yeah, not forgetting you, Ichabod. Nelson. And Hi. You've also got the term lad and you've also got myself. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining us. Everyone, if you want to say goodbye to the audience, go for it. Goodbye, Goodbye audience. Bye. 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 Check Bye. out my channel. Bye. I'm making some animation skits. I'm going to touch myself later. Bye. Thank you, Cog. Thank cool. you, Cog, for allowing the opportunity. Everyone watching, cheers. Have a good one. Love you all, guys, and I'll catch you later, world. Bye. Bye. Bye.